Welcome to WPI.edu slash listen, your go-to audio news and podcasts for all things Worcester Polytechnic Institute. After you've listened in, check out our other episodes and dive deep into the exciting news stories shaping the WPI community. Monday, July 15, 2024. Supporting Student Spirituality. By encouraging students to bring their whole selves, questions and all, to campus, WPI helps them become better scientists and engineers. In the beginning there was a fish, filled with Greek letters and symbolizing Jesus. When Darwin and Evolve Fish parodies cropped up in the 1980s, they popularized the notion that religion and science are incompatible. In recent years, ever more polarized culture wars have reinforced the assumption that there is an insurmountable gulf between science and religion. But WPI doesn't accept that stereotype. There is a common narrative told about STEM students that they are exclusively interested in empirical processes. And yet, when you flesh out their humanity and really look at the threads of what they think about, there's so much richness and depth, says Calvin Cummings, WPI's inaugural assistant director for religion and spiritual life. That richness and depth looks different for each student at WPI. But for many, it includes a worldview rooted in religious values or spiritual traditions that students bring with them to campus. As with other components of their lives, students may be questioning or expanding those values and traditions as they mature. That's why, in 2022, following campus wide discussions about mental health and holistic wellness, the university created a dedicated staff position, distinct from volunteer chaplains to oversee religious and spiritual life on campus. It was a way of acknowledging that students are actively exploring the role that faith or spirituality might play in their lives and providing resources to support them in that process, says Philip Clay, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. In the spring of 2023, 47% of WPI undergraduates reported identifying with a specific religious, spiritual, or philosophical tradition. College years are a time when students are becoming themselves. It's a time of sifting and sorting your upbringing, your values and beliefs, and making decisions about who you are going to be going forward, Clay continues. Part of that, for students raised in a faith tradition, is deciding if they are going to go to worship, continue to have fellowship with people from that faith tradition, or explore a new faith. For students who weren't raised in a faith tradition, that sifting and sorting may involve discovering a belief system they hadn't thought of before. Being welcoming to and available for students from all backgrounds is a big reason Cummings often talks about meaning-making practices instead of traditional and formal religions. There's a universality to meaning-making practice, and I try to represent that all paths where students are thinking about what gives their lives meaning are good paths, says Cummings. When students come to the Collegiate Religious Center, we don't ask them to be religious or to participate in any specific programming. We just don't ask them to leave their religious or religio-cultural traditions and meaning-making practices at the door. It's common these days for colleges to have chaplains from multiple faith backgrounds. Even schools with historic ties to a single religious tradition, like Brandeis University and Boston University, provide diverse faith resources for their students. But WPI is somewhat unique, especially among STEM-focused institutions, in formally recognizing, by way of a dedicated staff position, that religious expression can be a central part of the community's diversity and that spiritual practice can be part of a student's well-being. For example, some students, regardless of their field of study, feel more comfortable talking with a chaplain or spiritual advisor than with a therapist or mental health counselor. Some need special dietary options and scheduling flexibility to remain observant to their faith traditions. Still others are simply homesick for traditions they grew up with. That's exactly why Arsh Zadafia class of 2025, a computer science major from Mumbai, India, established a WPI chapter of Hindu Yuva, Youth for Unity, Virtues and Action. During my sophomore year, I decided to start a community on campus that gives a platform to students to express themselves and be involved in things that will make them feel at home, he says. 
Initially, I was thinking of an Indian student organization, but later I realized that to have a meaningful impact on the entire campus community, not only on students, it made more sense to follow my dharma, a term with Sanskrit roots that relates to religion, morals, responsibility, and duty. Zadafia says he has gotten a lot of encouragement and support from Cummings, who serves as the club's advisor, and from other staff in the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and Multicultural Education, ODIME, and the Office of International Student Life. As a result, last fall Hindu Yuva hosted a large public celebration for Ganesh Chaturthi, a multi-day festival honoring the Hindu deity Ganesha. More than 350 students, faculty members, and staff attended a Hindu Yuva event at WPI during the 2023-24 academic year, according to Zadafia, who is happy that the new club is helping some students build a home away from home, while also sharing their culture with others around campus. Sharing traditions is an important part of well-being for all students, but especially for those who come from cultures that aren't dominant in the United States, notes Colleen callahan Pondi, Director of International Students and Scholars. When you grow up in a community where most people are celebrating the same holidays and traditions, it can feel isolating to come to a new place where these familiar traditions are not widely celebrated, and where some people might not even know they exist, she says. When members of the WPI community come together to celebrate, this helps everyone build a sense of belonging. In recent years, university leadership has placed greater emphasis on fostering the kind of environment where students trust that their religious beliefs will be valued and respected. I see this initiative as WPI's acknowledgement of complexities of belonging. Students, like everyone else, are motivated by a lot of different things. Religion is definitely one of them, even though it is not always visible to others, says Yunus Teliel, assistant professor in the Department of Humanities and Arts and faculty advisor for the Muslim Students Association. Teliel has worked closely with staff in the Dean of Students' Office and ODIME to secure a quiet and private space in East Hall that Muslim students can access 24 hours a day to accommodate Islam's five times daily prayer schedule. Providing this dedicated space in East Hall has asked our campus to really acknowledge and celebrate not just diversity, but that we are here together, Cummings says. Once you name something, then it can be celebrated. That same principle has been at the root of other initiatives Cummings has championed. For example, he has worked with dining services to make certain foods available at specific times for students observing Ramadan, Passover, and other high holy days. He has also helped craft guidance for students, faculty, and staff on observing and accommodating religious holidays during the academic year. Beyond those specific efforts, Clay notes that in the last couple years, he has heard more nuanced and open dialogues at WPI about the many ways that religious expression influences students. Many students, too, have noticed, and value, the welcoming atmosphere. Calvin and the whole ODIME staff are an amazing support system, ensuring that the university is respecting diverse religious beliefs, says Abigail Poole, 26, a biochemistry major and president of WPI's Hillel chapter. She appreciates that faculty members are likewise actively involved in religious conversations and organizations across campus. Poole adds, Having good faculty support makes me feel like my whole identity, including my faith, is encouraged at WPI, and that faith, well-being, and community are integral to our development and education. This kind of environment helps to mobilize curiosity and engagement, says Teliel. As an anthropologist trained to think about cultures and how humans communicate about and across their cultural differences, Teliel is quick to point out that WPI still isn't perfect in this regard. But he acknowledges the efforts that many are making to see, understand, and value the complex identities of those throughout the campus community. We as a community need to ask a question that is practical and intellectual, and perhaps spiritual, at the same time, he adds. Do we want to build a culture that is supposed to be clear of all differences so everyone feels welcome?
or should we strive for a common ground that invites folks to come together with others, not despite but because of their differences? Callahan Pondy agrees. Life as a college student is about learning new things. Sometimes we learn them in the classroom, but not exclusively, she says. Diversity within our community helps us all move toward a better understanding of the world we live in. Which brings us back to how science could possibly intersect with religion and why a rigorous STEM school has prioritized making diverse spiritual resources available to its students. Many people think the opposite of faith is doubt, but the opposite of faith is actually certainty, says Clay. Within science, there is always a degree of unknown, things that cannot be explained. Put another way, if you stay rigidly within a single methodology, you'll never have innovation. For any method to grow and change and work toward better things, you need to step outside of it, says Cummings. That's why WPI gives me hope for the world. If our students, who will go on to be leading engineers and programmers and scientists, are learning how to negotiate religious thought and practice, then they will be better prepared to incorporate civility into their work.